Yes, the keys are now in the piano. Mm. But uh, as you can see, uh, the action's not on yet for a start. And the other thing is that the keys, if you get level, are not level. <laughs> They're all over the place, uh, which is entirely to be expected. Um, it always is. And what you have to do is uh, we want this, the, all the keys to be roughly about 20 millimeters above this rail at rest. And at the moment, let's put a ruler on there. They are not anywhere close to 20. They're about 17.5, some of them at the highest point. So what, what, what are we going to do about that? Well, what we're going to do is use some of these felts in this box. Felts and different varying degrees of packing. Yeah, that's quite a thick one. And then they go all the way up to absolutely ridiculously wafer thin. And what we do with those is, let's say we want to do this key. We'll take it off, which is hard to do while you're holding a phone. Go to the balance rail, pick out the washer, and put something on there. Let's, for the sake of argument, let's just put a really thick one on. There we go. Stick that on there, put that felt back up the top. Am I going to be able to put this back on one handed? There we are. There we go. And as you can see, that is now much higher. Get my ruler. It's a bit dark, you can't really see the figures, but that is almost 20 now. And I've basically got to do that with all the keys. Not actually the, the uh, measuring up there. What you do is you set a few in the middle, a few in the base, a few in the treble, and then you put a straight edge across all of them and level them all to the straight edge. Well, there you go. And uh, that's what I was on about last time with the in terms of the, uh, the weights at the back, those things there. Because there's no uh, hammers, weapons, and everything sat on the back of the keys to hold them up, without those weights on there, they just fall forward, so those weights just uh, keep them up. Uh, they won't be on there when the action's back on the piano. So uh, my next job is to make them all look exactly the same height. And also to get them to not be kinked over, because that one's leaning slightly. So, uh, yes, this takes quite a while. Fun times. Okay, so there you go, the keys are now level. So the next thing we've got to do is to find out how far we want them to go down. And uh, it's, uh, it, it can be anything between 9.5 to about 11 um, depth of touch. But uh, what we're going to do is, uh, this is my uh, homemade measuring device. It's ever so clever, you put it on there, you rest it on the top, and if there's a bit of movement underneath it means you've got too uh, too much depth of touch if it goes down as far as that and it doesn't sit on the neighbors you know you've not got enough and that's obviously alterable you can do that screw that can slide up and down and uh, you can change how much you want that depth of touch to be <laughs> Uh, because it varies from piano to piano. We're setting this one up at 9.5 because that's how um, that's what um, geometry the new action set up to at the moment. We may have to alter that slightly depending on how well it works out. But for the time being, and being as I'm just doing a really quick blitz through, and it's uh, I'm not doing a pristine job at the moment of leveling or depth of touch or anything. It's just so that we can set up the action on top of it. Uh, we're doing it to 9.5. So obviously the way we set these, lift it up. Take this out the front this time. And uh, you remember them paper weights and everything that uh, I took out? Um, you know, the uh, newspaper clippings from 1903. 
these are the modern day equivalents we've got stuff that's that thick all the way down to uh, the wafer thin ones and same as the other thing you just pick what you want put it underneath put that back on top push that down and then test it with the gauge to see if you've got it about right so that's the next job all right so that's that job done so they're all moving nicely now so the next job is to get the sharps at the right height because you can, as you can see they are far too low at the moment so i've got to bring them up usually it's about 12 millimeters so again i've designed there you go that's one of my own invention um sometimes the sharps can be a little bit um there, there can be a difference in height on the sharps as well so i've made an adjustable thing that sets the uh, height to it's usually about 12 millimeters this one's also this device is also clever because uh, you adjust it for the height of the sharp so you do all your sharp heights and then turn it round and measures the uh, depth of touch on the sharps as well you have to set it up individually obviously you can't just go oh well that's right so therefore those is right but it's uh, so one tool does both jobs kind of tool so I'm quite proud of that one of my own invention it's not normally as loose as that I've just loosened off that screw to demonstrate it but, yeah, it's not bad is it made of uh, recycled key tops <laughs> so that's my next job is to set that to 12 and set all those sharps the height twizzle that round and then set that depending on where it wants to be set up, which is a uh, something we do. Uh, I might explain that or I might not bother. I'll not bother. Right, while I was uh, doing all the keys and uh, setting up that and doing the stringing, uh, Phil's been working on this rail, uh, the damper bodies, the damper body rail. Uh, it's been modified so that uh, when it lifts, as in when you press the uh, the damper pedal, the whole rail is going up and uh, the damper bodies and the rail lift at exactly the same point because they're now pivoting in exactly the same point. Before, that rail was uh, at a different pivot point to the actual dampers, so when you lifted them, they did make a slight whooshing sound as, as they went across that uh, red felt. Uh, they don't do that anymore. Um, the other thing that's obviously been modified is these is the tops of the damper bodies, uh, which are now the sostenuto system. It's got this extra fancy bit here to take the sostenuto rail. Um, so uh, now that I've got the uh, the keyboard set up, we can actually get this installed into the piano, and we will check. Uh, the height of the dampers as well as the sostenuto system set up, how it's going to sit in the piano with the pedals and all that kind of gubbins. So, uh, looking at the time, it's nearly five o'clock, so I'll take this down, start screwing it in, but then I think I'll do the rest tomorrow. Right, so now that the keys are done, we're now fitting the... Uh, well, I say we are. Andrew's fitting the uh, the action rail. Um, pretty much, An Andrew is actually the action man because he's drilled out all the uh, the holes as well on this new rail. Um, if you remember, I made a video about when these came in. Uh, there was uh, they were just plain metal before. Now they've been sprayed black. Uh, they've been all calculated to show uh, the. They've been all calculated to. Uh, uh, to make the uh, geometry correct. Now we're just getting the hammer shanks on so that we can do a, a dry fit of uh, some guide hammers and uh, make sure that we can set it all up correctly and uh, geometrically uh, accurate. So that's the next thing that's happening. Meanwhile I'm putting dampers on so I suppose I should go down and make a video about dampers. Whoopee!